hi everyone you see again so today i will continue the video clip there's a 5.6 interference of the wave today i want to discuss about the experiment okay the first one the experiment is to uh, investigate the relationship between the a and also the x a the distance between two slits or you say the distance between two sources x is stand for the distance between the northern line or you say the distance between not line okay now we're going to see the hypothesis the x increases a decreases so that means there's an inversely proportional okay aim to investigate relationship okay when you state about the aim you must mention the full name you cannot just say a and also x because you need to introduce first so from the hypothesis you also need to write about a full sentence so from here i just write the simple because i don't want to type so much so from here you write the full sentence so from the hypothesis for the aim for the variable you need to write the full sentence after that you introduce what's the a what's the x then the following example for the procedure that means you can explain why the a you just mentioned a then we understand already okay now we see the investigation relationship between the distance between the coherent source so there's a, a distance between two consecutive node line there's a x so consecutive is very important because there is uh the next one if you just say about the node line x that means we got so many x so you must say the consecutive the next one okay let's see the variable manipulate variable we control a okay you control the source's distance okay number two responding should be the uh, distance between two consecutive node line there's a x okay constant variable is a frequency of the vibrator or you say the wavelength okay vibrator if you're using the river tank lah, the frequency must be the same okay apparatus if you're using the water sure we're using the river tank land motor wooden bar power supply okay white paper spherical dipper meter rule and also the troboscope Trouble is very important when you do the experiment about the river tank because they can freeze the motion of the object. Okay, let's see the arrangement of apparatus. Okay, this one is a diagram for the river tank. Okay, now we see the procedure. Okay, we must using the meter rule because you want to set up. You need to set your manipulate variable. That's an A. So first one you need to mention your A is how many. You can mention about the number. You also can mention about the symbol. Okay, number two is very important. Oh, sorry, this one is number three. Number three is important. Uh, you need to mention about the power supply must on. You must turn on or you say switch on the power supply. Then it produce two circular waves from the depots. Okay, now the waves are freeze. After they form, that means you want to get the responding variable. So you must freeze by using troposcope. So this one center is very important. If not, you cannot function. Okay, number four, the wave now you, after you fish, now you go to sketch on the screen. Okay, by using the meter rule, now you go to measure. Measure the two consecutive node line, there's an X. Okay, finish measure means responding mark, you get it. Okay, six, there's a repeater marks. So experiment repeat four times. Minimum repeat is a four times. So you plus just now, total is a five times. So you need to mention the four times is what? If just now I'm using A, so this one I mentioned A1, A2, A3, and also A4. If you just now mention the number, so you continue measure, uh, mention about the next number is what? Okay, after that, we need to tablet. Okay, this one is an example for a diagram. If you're using the river tank to create this one experiment, okay, I adjust the distance between the A. So this one, the distance for the A is closer. So you find the X is bigger. Okay, when I make the distance between the the deeper become further, you find it the X becomes smaller. Okay, so tablet data. So from here, tablet data you just label A, A1, A2, A3, and A4. So from here, this one is a manipulate variable. This one is a responding. Together, label the unit. Okay, last one is a analyzing the data. Analyzing data, you can plot about the two axes axis y and axis x if you do one you just mention this sentence plot the graph x against the a okay normally the first one is a y axis the behind one is a x axis okay we see the example question 
Okay, for this one experiment, they'll investigate the pattern interference of the water wave. Okay, distance between two spherical dipoles. Okay, 2.5. You need to state out all the info. If not, so many numbers we not remember. So from here, we know A is a 2.5. After that, they say, and the distance between two consecutive antinodes. So there's a X 5 cm. Okay, what is the wavelength? The question want to find about the wavelength. When the distance between two dippers to the point to measure measurement, that's a 10 cm. So normally the longest one sure is a D. So we write out all the info first. So this one is the information. 2.5 cm is a A. 5 is a X. Then D is a 10 cm. So from here the question want to find wavelength. So we still apply the same formula. Lambda equal A X over D. So all apply because all the unit is the same. So you don't need to convert. So finally, there's a 2.5 multiplied with the 5 over 10. So from here, after you do the calculation, so the answer is 1.25. Unit, we just follow. There's a CM. Okay. So now we go to the next one. Okay. The next one is the interference for the light wave. Okay. When the light uh, from the same source, they pass through the two narrow slit. Narrow slit and also two. So this one is an interference. Which are close together, then the effect we know as an interference can be seen as a bright and also dark fringes. So from here, you can see this one as an example for the screen capture from the interference result. So we got bright and also dark fringes. So you find it bright and dark fringes, almost the, the fringe is the same size. So if the diffraction also bright and dark, but diffraction center is a wider. The first bar at the center sure is a bright and also big size. But interference, no. You find it the bright and also dark, almost the constant size. So this one is a sum of the example. Red, blue and also the green. Okay. So bright color and uh, the bright fringes and also dark fringes. The size is almost the same, consistent. Okay, now we're going to see the next one. Okay, the bright fringes. What means of bright fringes? There as a constructive interference. Then the dark fringes means there's a destructive interference. So if you're using red color, okay, the red color from that means it's a constructive. Then the black color sure is a destructive. Depends what color you use it. So this one is an example for the experiment. Okay, interference fringes, they produce by using the double slit interference. So this one experiment, they call Young experiment. Okay, from here, the starting is a monochromatic light. Okay, later I explain why it's a, norm, a monochromatic light. They pass through the two slit. So two slit, double slit. Then after that, they will uh, interference. So you find it, they produce is a bright and dark, bright and dark fringes. Then the distance is almost a constant. Okay, for all the particles, suppose monochromatic is used. So from here, monochromatic light, what's the meaning? There's a one color and one wavelength. Means that means we, if we're using one of the color example, there's a red color. That means red color, just one color only. And also the wavelength is a one type. If I say I mix, I'm using red and also blue, that means the result later you get it should be different. Because blue and red, the wavelength should be different. So when do this one experiment, we need to constant the color you use it. Okay, if you're using one of the color, so that means you get the wavelength is a constant. So if I keep changes the color, so manipulated variable should be the type of the color of the light. So that means if you change the type of the color of the light, means you changes the wavelength. Okay, if you change the wavelength, means later you take the fringes from the screen, must be different. Okay, for this one experiment, manipulate variable, we're using color. Okay, different light of the color. So that means different light of the color, different wavelength. Then the responding variable sure is a X. Distance between the two consecutive bright fringes. Okay, so we're still using the formula, lambda equal X over D. Okay, now we need to introduce what's the lambda, what's the A, X, and also the D. Okay, I know the meaning should be the same, but when you're using at the river tank and you're using for the light experiment, there's a different name already. Okay, let's see what is that. 
Okay, lambda means wavelength of the light wave. Okay, if you're using red color, what's the lambda? If you're using violet color, the wavelength should be different. Okay, A, again, there's a separation. Also source, but this one is a slit. Okay, for the light, we take there's a slit separation. Okay, for the X, there's a distance between two successive bright and also dark fringes. Okay, D is a distance between the double slit and also the screen. Mean this one is a double slit, this one is a screen. So from here, we measure from the slit to the screen. So that one, we call it as a D. Okay, so from here, we create the formula lambda equal AX over D. Okay, let's see the example two. In a double slit interference experiment, okay, with the blue light, they're using the blue light. Okay, the distance between the screen and double slit 1.2. So I told you already, normally the longest one sure is a D. So we know D is a 1.2. Then we go to check, is it correct or not? Okay, distance between the screen and also double slit. Okay, after that, the slit separation. So this one is an A. Okay, this one important. Six successive bright fringes at the distance. So this one not one X. This one is six successive. Okay, what means of the six successive? Six successive means got six X or not? The answer is wrong. Eh? We cannot count you got six successive bright fringes mean you got six X. No. Okay, later I show you how to draw. Okay, they form on the screen. Now you need to calculate it's a wavelength. Okay, we mentioned the information first. Okay, first one, I know the D is 1.2. I know the slit separation is 2 times 10 power of negative 4. Okay, now we go and see the X. 6 successive. So I draw already. This one we call 6 successive. Successive means there's a bright. Okay, they say successive bright, is it? So I draw 6 bright fringes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, now I need to count. What is the X? Remember the X is a between. Okay, two consecutive. So when I count the first one to the second bright fringes, this one we count one. Okay, from the second one, you go to number three. This one we count number two. From the three, we go number four, they count number three. From the four, we go number five, we count number four. Okay, number four, you go number five. This one we count number five. So from here, actually here, we just got five X. Okay, not 6x, uh, that's a 5x. So from here, if I want to find 1x only, so from here, 1.2, this part, we need to divide by the 5. So I can get 1 of the x is how many? So I show the calculation. 1.2 times 10 power negative 2, divide by the 5x. So from here, I know this one is a 1x. What is a reading? Okay, now I get all the info already. I got d, I got a, I got x. So I need to find is a lambda. So again, apply lambda equal ax over d. Then we get the answer. Wavelength for the blue light. Okay, so I apply all the things. So after that, I get the result is a 4 times 10 power of negative 7. Then all is meter. So my answer also in meter. Okay, now the experiment, they want to investigate relationship between the lambda of the light and also the x so that means the lambda we control by using the color okay let's see here hypothesis distance between two consecutive bright fringes increases as the wavelength of the light increases so from here if the distance between the consecutive bright that means there's an x increases wavelength increases so that means later i using the different color of the wavelength they will affect the x from here, we get it, the result is a directly proportional. So let's see the aim. We want to find the relationship between the wavelength okay, of the light and also the distance between two consecutive bright fringes. That's an X. Okay, let's see the variable. Control. We control the color. Wavelength of the light. So from here, we control the color of the light. Okay, responding sure is an X. Then fix, we got A, you can say about the A also fix, you also can say about the D. So from the formula, if you do the two become relationship, that means the next one become constant variable. Okay, what's 
uh, apparatus we use it, we're using the light. Normally, we're using the ray box. Lah. If you're not using the ray box, you're using normal light, then you must have the color filter. Because color filter, that means you change the color. Okay, must have the screen. Okay, single slit. Sometimes we're using single slit, after that double slit. If you don't want using single slit, it's okay. Straightforward, go to double slit. After that, important, there's a meter root. Because you want to measure what's the distance. Okay, let's see the diagram. Okay, this one is a setup. So they start with the source. Okay, they pass through the single slit. After that, go through double slit. Okay, this one is a screen. So this one should be the result. Okay, bright and also dark fringes. So from here, let's see procedure. So the starting, they're using green filter. So this one is the first manipulate uh, marks. They're using the green color first. They place between the light source and also the slit. Okay, now the source of the light is switched on. Okay, important switch on. Eh? Now the interference of the pattern they form on the screen is observed. Then you need to draw. Okay, by using a meter rule. Okay, normally we not measure one fringes only. We measure more than one because later we do the calculation. So from here they just uh, uh drop down the distance for the six consecutive bright fringes is measured. Okay, after that, the distance between two consecutive bright fringes is calculated. So six successive, so you understood lah. Six successive means got five x. Then later you divide by the five. Okay, repeated. The experiment is repeated four times for different color. Okay, four times means you're using four different color. Okay, so let's see the data. Okay. If I'm using green just now, so I repeat the four times, I'm using red, blue, yellow, and also orange. Okay, what's the result? We don't know because we never do the experiment. Okay, after that, we need to analyze it. Means you need to plot the graph. Okay, the graph is an X against the lambda. Okay, X is a Y axis. Lambda is a X axis. Okay, this one is an example. Just now I told you the different color got different wavelength. So in order for the arrangement for the wavelength, the red color should be the longest. So we're using a nanometer, very small already. So this one red color should be the longest, then followed by orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and the last one violet. Violet is the smallest. The wavelength should be the smallest. So they just follow the rainbow color. Okay, start with the red, longest uh, wavelength. Then the smallest one should be the violet. Okay, then we go to the last one. That's the uh, interference of the sound wave. Okay, interference of the sound wave, they produce the region for the louder sound, for the constructive interference. Quiet sound for the destructive interference. So when two similar loudspeakers, they are connected to the same audio frequency generator, they will produce an interference effect. Okay, again, we apply the same formula, lambda equal x over d. Okay, now the lambda we still say about the wavelength, but this one for the sound wave. Okay, A, distance between two loudspeakers. Okay, just now is for the slit, is it? So now it's a two loudspeaker become the distance, that's an A. So x distance between two consecutive or you say two successive uh, louder region or you say quiet region. Okay, d means the distance between the listener and also the loudspeaker. So still the same thing, just we convert using the different apparatus only. Okay, from here we're going to try the example for the question sound uh, interference. So in this one experiment, the listener and also the distance from the loudspeaker 5 meter. Okay, you see here, 5 meter should be the longest. So, so this one normally is a D. Lah. The distance between two loudspeakers, so this one is an A. Now the loudspeaker connected to the audio frequency generator to produce the sound wave. Okay, they produce frequency. The question gives you frequency. So the frequency here is a 0 0.8 kilohertz. So from here, the question never give you lambda. Eh? So later, you do find yourself. Okay, first one, we see what they want. Okay, A, wavelength. Wavelength of the sound wave. Then they give you the 
velocity. So if they give you the velocity, that means we can find about the wavelength by using frequency. Remember formula, there's a V equal F lambda. So we solve the A first. Okay, in four, D is a five, A is a two, frequency is 0 0.8 kilohertz. So convert, there's a 10 times time, 10 times power of three. Then the velocity is a 320. So we find what is the wavelength first. Okay, A, V equal F lambda. So the V, there's a 320. F is 0 0.8 times 10 power of 3 lambda. So I get the answer is 0 0.4 meter. Okay, the lambda is 0 0.4 meter. So this one lambda, I will apply for the B, question B. Okay, distance between two successive loud regions. So the B, what they want to find? They want to find X. Okay, so from here, lambda is 0 0.4. A, X. So A is a 2. X, I don't know. Then divide by the D, 5. Finally, I find the X, that's a 1 meter. Okay, so this one is what calculation from the South Interference Experiment. Okay, so we continue about the sound wave experiment. They want to investigate relationship between the listener from the loudspeaker, that's a D, and also the X. So from here, we get it, the result, uh, actually, there's a directly proportional. Distance between two consecutive loud regions, that's an X, that will increase when the listener and also the loudspeaker increases. So this one experiment, we need to find X and also D was a relationship. Okay, manipulate variable we control is a distance between the loudspeaker and also the listener. So that means we control the D. Okay, responding variable sure is a X. We cannot control X1. So the fixed variable, so the rest become fixed. Wave length, or you say the distance between two loudspeaker. Okay, now apparatus we're using is a two loudspeaker, audio frequency generator. Connection wire and also meter root. Why meter root so important? Because later you need to measure louder sound to louder sound. What is the distance? Okay, so you see the uh, uh, arrangement of apparatus. Okay, the diagram like this. Okay, we got two speaker. Okay, audio signal generator. After that, this one is a P to Q. That means the listener or you say the microphone you put here. Later you want to uh, observe the sound. So procedure by using the meter rule, the distance between the listener, you set first, manipulate variable, so you control the D. Now you switch on. Okay, switch on the audio frequency generator. Okay, now the listener, you need to walk uh, in a straight path. The distance between the two successive louder sound is measured by the meter rule. So after you walk, you need to drop down. Later, you need to measure by using meter rule. So this one experiment, you need to repeat five times. At least it's a four. Lah. So you mentioned five times for the different distance, the listener and also the last speaker. So you need to mention how many CM. Or normally we say about the meter lah, because there's a further. So from here, tablet data, D, I using meter, one, two, three, four, five. So X, I don't know, so I just empty. So from here, we analyzing the data and also plot the graph. There's a X against the D. D is a manipulable variable, so this one is a x axis. The x is a y axis. So this all is an experiment about the interference. We got sound, we got light, and also the uh, the water. Okay. So our chapter five point six is finished about the interference. So from here, um, I will discuss a tutorial coming soon. So hope you understand about this uh, subtopic. Thank you for your watching.